Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm gonna show you the new best NVIDIA driver for Fortnite in chapter 3. I'm first of all going to show you some benchmarks guys and show you exactly how much more FPS we gain and then afterwards of course also how to get your hands on this driver and if you enjoyed the content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would up mode so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, if we actually first of all take a look at our FPS in Fortnite, we can see that we have around like 190 to like 248, 245 FPS on max here actually right now in Fortnite. And as you can see from my settings guys, those are literally like the most optimized settings possible, yeah? We get the performance mode as of right now here. I know Dart X12 theoretically still gives you more FPS, but for this benchmark, I can still showcase you the difference guys. We're utilizing our textures here on low, viewing distance medium, you know, just for the competitive advantage. And as mentioned, we see some FPS between like 200 246 something like that and yeah now i'm just going to show you and also compare the fps afterwards if we actually apply this new best nvidia driver so therefore guys i see you just in a second and here guys what you want to do in the first place is click on the first link in the description where i'm just going to give you the direct link to the driver which we're going to be talking about in today's video which is driver version 457.30 this is like the best one for fps in chapter 3 and trust me guys i'm just going to show you afterwards the benchmarks and everything and the comparison and yeah, we can also see the supported products, literally any NVIDIA card, which is somehow known right now, especially like the section here from like a 1050 until the newest RTX, you know, like those are the ones we care about guys. And yeah, we can see it. It's super easy to actually get it. Just simply click it actually on the download, click on to download again, and you're just going to download here onto your PC. So, and once we finish actually the download, just simply drag it here onto your desktop real quick. You know, it's only going to take like a few seconds. Then we're going to close the browser. And what you want to do now is pretty much make sure to, first of all, deinstall the old NVIDIA driver. And that's actually super easy. Just go into your Windows search bar, type in control until you find the control panel. Click onto programs, programs and features. And there you should see now this long list. And we're just going to scroll down a little bit until we find NVIDIA. And there we can see right now here, NVIDIA graphics driver 497.09. This is like the latest one, which I've been using up until now. And we're just gonna actually uninstall it, which I can do right now here because it will stop my recording, guys. Uh, you obviously need one, you know, in order to record here on OBS. So therefore, guys, just simply uninstall it here actually real quick. And after you're done with that, guys, you're just simply gonna go here onto the installation of the driver 457.30, as we just mentioned it here. Go through the whole entire installation process, and I'm just gonna do it myself now, and then afterwards show you the bench and FPS comparison actually in game so therefore see you guys just in a second and yeah guys if we now actually take a look at my FPS count on the top right side of the screen yeah we're just gonna compare it with what we had before and we're just gonna focus on the first side here on the left counter which is like the minimums you know we can see it's all the time above 200 pretty much you know like 228 227 229 you know sometimes we have like some smaller freezes in there because yeah it's Fortnite after all it's just not optimized well and if we actually take a look at the highest FPS count guys on the right side we can see it's always above like 260 270 even right now I've also had that for a second I think like 278 or something like that so therefore yeah that's just great overall I gotta say I mean just switching to this driver overall gave us additional of like three to four five percent FPS which is of course on a competitive Fortnite setting not as noticeable as on a low-end laptop or low-end PC in general but then we also had like really consistent 270 FPS there so therefore guys I just gotta say you know it's like a nice little extra FPS boost for literally no work and yeah with that said we're pretty much done here boys and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace